Hello guys, I am Jared the Juggler, and I'm here at the location of my previous building time lapse to welcome you to what is now my fourth time lapse video. In this time lapse, I'm going to be building a steampunk themed floating island. I've honestly never really been into the whole steampunk art style in general, and as a result, I'm a tad ignorant about it, but I think it could be a lot of fun to see if I will actually be able to pull it off. So wish me luck.
Okay guys, I think it's just about time to wrap up this build. I think I did a good job on it. I think I did well, considering this is my first ever attempt at doing steampunk. I'm not too sure I really captured steampunk's essence. I don't know. That's... I'm gonna let you guys decide that. I, I like the build overall, and I'm especially happy with this flame down here. I think I did a good job on it. With the shape and the shading. I also like how I made these piston things actually sort of animated. And I like how I kind of hid that the one second timer controlling it is in this little dial up here. Also, I really like how these holy wheels turned out. I was originally planning on just making them solid, but I'm glad I actually put the little spokes in there. I think it makes it look much better. And I like how I was actually able to pull off making a gear, especially because the distances were made by slanted blocks versus full blocks and all that jazz. It, it isn't the same, but I got it to look near the same. Oh, and these actual pulleys that are connecting the wheels and the gear. I'm surprised I was actually able to make it so that it looked that smooth with surprisingly little effort, I think. I think I did a good job making it so that it looks like they're actually connected by belts. And this ladder right here. I also like this ladder, how it's made by having two walls next to each other and having blocks as the gaps. I think it looks nice and it's kind of tricky to figure out how I actually made it because it looks like I used a hammer and made it so that there's only the left to right side of a block showing, but as we sh should all know, it's not possible in Terraria, but I did it. No, it's just walls, but the cool part is that people won't notice that at first or realize that at first. And so yeah, that's pretty much all I really have to say about this build. Uh, leave some feedback in the comments, tell me what you think. Did I capture the essence of steampunk? Uh, did I not do that? <laughs> do you just like the build overall, even if it isn't quite steampunk enough? Just leave your feedback in the comments. I, I read all the comments and I really appreciate when people leave feedback on my videos so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one